Hi, I'm Rick Robinson. I'm a director of photography and a mentor at the International Academy of Film and Television in Cebu, Philippines. Welcome to the Filmmaker Series. With the static camera, static subject, both the camera and the action remain stationary in the frame. Help protect them from themselves. Amen. With the static camera moving subject, the camera remains stationary while the action moves within the frame. Compensating to the right or left is a technique we refer to as panning. Compensating up or down, we refer to that technique as tilting. Will you be my wife? To accomplish these basic moves, the camera is mounted on one of two camera supports. The first is the fluid head. With the fluid head, we physically move the camera up and down and side to side with the use of a pan handle. The head itself is then mounted on a dolly, a tripod, or perhaps a crane. The second widely used camera support is the geared head. With the geared head, we move the camera with a set of wheels. The left wheel pans the camera from side to side, while the right wheel tilts it up and down. Removing the operator from touching the camera directly, a geared head makes for steadier camera moves, especially with long lenses. Moving the camera into or away from the subject can increase or diminish the importance within the context of the story. The next example is the moving camera static subject. The camera moves while the subject remains stationary. This gives the audience a sense of involvement. Dollying the camera into the character's face can emphasize the character's moment of realization. It had to be done. You know it. I know it. Hi, girls. You're crazy. Our last technique is the moving camera moving subject. This allows the camera and the subject to move together through space and it gives the audience that much more of a sense of involvement. Tracking shots can be very simple but a very effective dynamic with a tremendous amount of production value or aesthetic quality.